This video will be the installation of a Biesmeyer fence on a Delta Unisaw. The same approach can be used for other cabinet saws or even contractor saws. I'm following the instructions that are in the Biesmeyer manual. These manuals are available online at several different locations. Uh, first thing I'm trying to do is see if any of the existing holes uh, line up. Um, depending on the, the use this Unisaw saw, <laughs> um, there w there's quite a few holes that uh, have been drilled in the cast iron here. So I'm just trying to see if I can make any of them work at the right height. Um, there was one on this left edge here you can see I'm screwing into, trying to make work, but none of the other ones lined up. Uh, so I ended up uh, drilling my own. And so I'm following the instructions. I'm using uh, parallel clamps to hold this front uh, angle iron against the table saw. And I'm using a combination square to set it at just the right height according to the specs in the manual. And I'm moving along the whole front edge of the saw here, making sure it's clamped. And now I'm drilling the holes. And uh, drilling into cast iron is pretty easy if you've got a, a sharp bit. Um, it should drill really easy and you really don't even need lubrication for cast iron. There's a pretty good carbon content that sort of keeps things running smooth. And now I'm just hand tightening the, the screws. Okay, so I'm installing the Beesmeyer fence on this Delta Unisaw re rehab. And um, just following the instructions in the Beesmeyer manual that's available online. And uh, basically on this model, um, there were no holes that lined up with the original delta holes. Uh, and those would have been too low anyway. So I'm following the instructions. I set a combination square to the proper height for where this rail is supposed to be below the table. And made sure that that was level all the way across. And then uh, clamped it in place. Um, have an extra hand here with this roller. Uh, um, and so then clamped it in place and then I've drilled, drilled holes and now I'm starting to put the uh, screws in the holes that I drilled and um, uh, this front rail is the most important making sure that's the proper height uh, below the table so when you put the um, front sliding rail on uh, the front uh, 2x3 um, ang um, uh, tube that uh, the height of the fence will be um, just right be a little bit above the table and won't snag on anything so it's coming along just fine, um, and soon it'll be ready to go. Now we're following a similar approach for the side extension table. Again, I'm using parallel clamps to clamp the table in the exact right spot, and I drilled holes, uh, and now I'm putting screws in, uh, or bolts I should say, uh, that come with the saw that fit in those countersunk holes, and uh, using uh, wide fender washers and a nut on the back side. Uh, and I'll go around and tighten those up well. And now that the rail is on, now we'll put the 2x3 tube on. And uh, here I'm just lining up the holes and um, screwing these in. The bottom of the um, uh, rail here is uh, tapped to accept these bolts. Sometimes the holes do um, uh, wallow out or uh, get too loose, so you could just use a bigger screw or a self-tapping metal uh, screw. That's what I've done sometimes when the, when the holes are, are just too loose. Uh, just go up a size and bolt or use, again, a sheet metal screw that self-taps. And that'll grab well. And last thing with the Beesmeyer, uh, if you really want to dress it up and make it look finished, you can get these end caps. Uh, you can get them on eBay or Amazon. They just fit right in there. Something to, to the dress ends. it up. Completely finish it if... Uh, you're so okay, inclined. so the Beesmeyer fence rehab and reinstallation is complete. Fence is ready to go. Slides nicely. We've got the fence all attached, the extension rails, and the extension table with the router insert. Good to go.